my buddies come and join us. I think about 20 minutes. And about you, I know you've got a few little white hairs on your beard. You probably added a few. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, it's really, really strange game today. Really, really strange game. But um, luckily, from my point of view, no one's gonna, no one's gonna remember or talk about the performance and the results. Be the one that's gonna, that's gonna stand out. And you know, fortunately for us, the, that's the most important thing. Yeah, sometimes you just have to win ugly. We do, we do, and you know, we, we don't do it enough, Michael. We don't, um, and we've we've struggled doing that in the past. Um, and we've dug in today, and. You know, we've kept a clean she, you know, and um, when we've had to put our bodies in the front of stuff, we have done, you know, they huffed and puffed. Didn't create a lot, obviously a lot of the shots from, from outside the box and stuff, but they've had a goal. You could tell um, how desperate to win the game they were, being it a home game, obviously not one in a long time. Um, so we've had to deal with quite a lot today. We've had to deal with the sending off, um, which I'm sure we'll discuss in a second. and. So the lads to sort of come out of it, um, like I say, with a clean sheet and standing strong was great. Uh, Lewis's goal, it felt like it settled your team down because I thought women had started pretty well, mm. but it came at a good time for you. Yeah, well, it was the sort of first, there was a couple of little bits before it, certainly on Morgan's side. Morgan's showing a bit of quality in that first half, probably more so than most. Um, but it was the first real bit of quality that we've that we shown, you know, the ball got played out wide, he drives inside, a little set and... We know that Lewis is capable of that because we've seen it, you know, a few times already this season. So I was happy that he, um, you know, he got scoring again because he um, he's been he's been obviously frustrated, a little spell he had out of the team, and he's took his opportunity once he's come back in. No one wants to throw an 18-year-old under a bus. But it felt like Brooke gave the referee a decision today by raising both his hands. I know I've probably in, maybe it happened at the Lincoln end, mm. but the Lincoln fans behind him might not have got the red card. But if I'd have counted inevitable. Yeah, I think it's one of them where um, you look at you look at the situation. It's difficult to see from here what had happened. I know he pushed him in the back, but he was uh, he got pushed as well. Now we're being told he was sent off a headbutt. Oh, it's a headbutt, not the push. Yeah, so we're being sent he's sent off a headbutt. Now I didn't see a headbutt, and having spoken to Brooke and I've spoken to all the players, ironically they tell me that Lee Brown kissed him. Right. Put his well, head to I, him I've, and I've seen him. the replay and I didn't see a head, but right, okay. Well, that, that, that's what they're telling us that he was sent off for. So clearly, clearly, if that's the case, uh, then we'll, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll challenge it. We'll challenge it as much as we possibly can. We'll look at the footage first, make sure we don't make ourselves look stupid and silly. Um, but yes, there was a push in the back, absolutely. But I think that I went on probably two or three times throughout the game. Um, on uh, Sun of there. Um, we're getting barracked, by the way, but that's fine, we won. Um, Sadov, it looked like he was taking heavy touches occasionally with his first touch of the ball back to him. I think Tom Hopper got close a couple of times, mm. but John Marcus was very live to it for your second goal. Yeah, he almost teed him up. He teed him up, basically. He almost... He almost gave him the opportunity to take a touch and then take a second touch and then sped his press up. Um, if that's a word, he, he certainly did speed up uh, when he was looking to close him down. And, um, yeah, he, he, he's showing all his experience. And the biggest thing for me, obviously, he did brilliantly to, to sort of close him down and put the put the press on. But to be able to pick, you know, Teddy Bishop out in the middle of the goal was uh, was good as well. And in a way, that was, I mean, all your players stood up, obviously, when going down to 10 men. But, you know, you always look to your experienced players. And I thought your front three, particularly, mm. obviously, your defenders mm. as well, the experienced players showed that. Yeah, there was some there was some really, really good performances today. Front two, especially, were fantastic. I thought Regan Poole was immense. You know, he's he's rolled his ankle in the first half. He's looking a little bit sore and doubtful for Tuesday already, <laughs> which is the last thing we need. But um, yeah, there was three or four in the team who, who were immense. The rest of them almost fought their way into the game. You know, they struggled to start with, didn't get up to the pace to it. But then eventually, obviously, um, when we needed them, when we were down to ten, they they were there for us. Was the TJ changed because of a concern about the yellow card that he just got? A little bit, and to be fair, you know, listen, TJ's an honest lad and I've worked with him long enough now. It, it wasn't his best of games. I think we all agree that and know that. We know what he's capable of and uh, I don't think it was too much of a surprise to him when he sees his number go up. He was actually going to come off just before That's Brooke. Was yeah, ready, yeah, 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 just before Brooke. So sometimes them things happen. Sometimes they happen. Um, I've never seen so many away fans, uh, sorry, home fans who've just lost a game to. I know. You know to be so happy. Thank you, Barracus. We exactly. won. Doesn't matter. Eight points the gap, and that's obviously a big deal, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, you look at some of the results that have gone for us today. 
Um, I did say last week, two or three days ago, we've got to focus on us. We've got to focus on how many points that we can get and uh, everything else will take care of itself. But, you know, we know, you know, the, the, the target that we need to hit to make sure that we're nice and safe. And then I think going forward, hopefully we can do that as quick as we can and try and relax in the last few games. We all know what an effort is to get to this ground. It's not the easiest thing. There's not mm. much parking around. There are 900 odd mm. Lincoln City fans here today. I know it's the easy thing for me to just say to you, weren't they great? But they genuinely were outstanding today, weren't they? Yeah, they were brilliant. And the players needed them, like you say, you know, obviously we were going towards that goal in the second half. And, you know, that turned out to be pretty crucial. Um, but they, they got behind the players today and uh, I was delighted that We've given them something to, you know, scream and shout about on the way home. Hopefully they'll be a little bit louder than all that lot <laughs> there who's just been... They've been, quietened down. Yeah, they have quietened down. But uh, yeah, no, hopefully they, they'll go on with smiles on the face today and, and look forward to, you know, a ridiculously tough game on Tuesday night at Rotherham against the team at the top of the table. And, um, you know, from a physicality point of view, seem to, you know, uh, deal with all comers.